Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show how we can migrate WordPress website from one hosting to another hosting, uh, let's say server, right? That is the main topic. But uh, in this video, I will cover these topics. Okay, how to migrate WordPress website, how to transfer WordPress website to new hosting, how to move WordPress website to new cPanel, how to transfer WordPress website to new domain name right and how to move wordpress site to another hosting uh whatever you're sourcing right uh, you are at right place so mm, today i got one task that i need to do uh, i need to transfer one website that is our one of very old client then uh, now their website is developed at wordpress then they need to transfer their website to their new domain name with right so i'm doing that then at the same time i want to make video to show you how i can do that okay so here is my uh old domain name in this domain name i had this old website right then this website i need to transfer in this domain name now here is nothing nothing it's empty okay <clears throat> for this you know uh, for this we will need uh, obviously old hosting and new hosting okay new domain old domain name okay the to make uh, it's fast i have already logged in here my c panel of that domain name here i have already logged in here mm -hmm. then you need to log in your old c panel okay then uh, to make easy here's i have already logged in the uh, C panel of that mm, new hosting okay okay now we need to do is uh, the simple things there is no big steps no big things just we need to do uh, from the old hosting we need to zip the main file of the website then we need to download that file then we need to identify the database of the, that website if there is a multiple website hosted then we need to download that database then another add new hosting we need to upload the zip file that downloaded file then we create database and users we need to connect them we need to upload database then we need to connect database okay so in this way we can uh, transfer uh, website wordpress website from one one hosting to another hosting so let me show you this one by one okay so as mentioned here zip main file and of the website then download from old school so this is my old server then i need to go to the public html file okay uh, instead of going inside just uh, let's <coughs> zip this compress this folder to zip folder it may take a uh, time it may take time but on the file sites okay Oh, it's compressed now I can see the <clears throat> now I can see the uh, you need to see the this so here here is my compressed folder I need to I need to download this it's downloading here uh, during the time uh, because it may take up to a hour also based on your mm, internet speed and your file size this is just 175 77 MB so it it will not take more for me so uh, while this downloading time we need, let's go we need, let's identify the database okay uh, for that we need to go in the main uh, main file then find this uh, WP config file then let's edit this and edit in this here we can see the DP name okay the DP name is this right Nakima media underscore media so this is the database we have to um, download this database for to download database we have to go into, into our main cPanel 
is already downloaded why it is taking time to go download okay this is my cpanel in cpanel you need to go at php my admin here's php my admin then this is the database right we need to download let's click here then let's go down then check out mm, then we can do export from here at sql format <coughs> this also downloaded so uh, the things we need to do from old hosting that zip and download the file we did that download database we did that so now let's go to the new hosting okay so this is the our file mm, I'll let me show in the file this is here this both is here I need to carry to my desktop so now <coughs> the things we need to do from old hosting is done okay so let's go to our new hosting there here is nothing <coughs> okay this is, is cpanel first thing we need to upload as i mentioned you upload the zip file hmm? we need to upload the zip file here desktop this is the file that's now loading uh, to work and uh, to do uh, this website uh, finally working we need to check that the new domain name is connected to your uh, hosting or not okay we need to check that that's that's doing properly or not we need to see that that thing we need to check this is the this is the domain name uh, <coughs> can do from here also i don't know what happened okay so mainly you need to see that your name server is connected to your hosting or not this is my server this is my name server that's connected to my server that's fine it's working fine okay so let's now let's go to the file let's do reload it let's unzip it extract it <coughs> this whole thing is going inside the property html so we need to bring inside this domain name. So what to do is just check, just check, check this move. Yeah. It's, it's, it's done. Okay, let's delete it. Let's delete. It's here. Okay. <coughs> it's done so now we need to do is uh, create our database okay now let's go into the p my c panel so to create database first we need to go inside uh, my sql database i think so not my media new 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 db let's say this is our database new db is created let's see. this is the database name then now we need to create username users okay you need to create users let's create new db same that's mean this also same and let's uh, put password like this okay we copy this mm -hmm. yes <coughs> this user also created okay so now we need to do is let's connect that user to that uh, database 
new DB to new DB with all the privileges. Done. Thing is done, right? So now we need to do is database has created. So now we can see that uh, database here. Uh, our PHP my admin you can see now PHP now new DB. Okay, this is a new DB. Then inside this, uh, what language is this? Leave it. Okay, what can we can do is language is this? And this is import. Just file. This is. Uh, we need to we need to upload the database on that database all is here okay I don't know what language is changed here Ooh. What is this? So now let's go to the file instead of seeing these things. <coughs> let's go to the file managers and see the domain name. Uh, then in this config you need to say the database right you say the database name is here this is database name the username also same then Password in this okay. Let's save it. Then it must work now. Boom boom. Right? In this way you can uh, transfer your website from one domain name to another domain name, another hosting to another hosting. So we can now uh, we can WB uh, in this way you can oh I think you need to do one thing I'm oh, sorry I forgot to say the one thing the oh, one thing is you need to add the add your new database you need to find your mm, table You need to change the, you need to just change the mm, 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 mm. table would use like table or something. Static your options. WB options let's go into options then you need to see this URL is changed or not okay this URL is changed or not if the here you, your old URL you need to change this both URL as new URL okay in this way you can uh, migrate can host your um, website from 
one domain name to another domain one hosting to another hosting the same way you can do from local host to live server okay In this way you can do uh, i hope this video will help you okay and then this video will cover these topics thank you